Well, hello down there. What do we have here? Oh, Rochester Quadrajet. My 72 Olds Vista Cruiser has one on it right now. And that's about the last thing I haven't touched since I've had the car for four years. And judging by the way most other parts were on the car when I got it, I really think it's time and the way it's starting to act up a little bit. It just doesn't have as much kick as I really feel it should the car. A little bit leaning out with the headers and the cam and the rear flowing intake manifold plus the dual exhaust. So got myself I'm a friend, another quadrajet, and right now I'm in the process of rejetting it, putting a new jet. See, I have all sorts of different sized jets that you can get for a carburetor. A whole bunch of them in the bag will be here, different sizes. So the carburetor still might have to be tuned as I'm going along. We'll see how it's going to run. And you also have metering rods too, which fit into those jets down there. And as you have vacuum pulling up and down on this piston over here, up and down, it gives you your overall fuel flow rate. <clears throat> now one thing I learned was you you just don't simply put in bigger jets and bigger metering rods. You have to try to balance everything out with charts that I was able to get a hold of. That's sort of interesting things. It's amazing what you can find on the internet, but it just gives you flow rates like jet areas, rods or rod areas and the resulting area of um, that the fuel will recognize as it's flowing through the carburetor and that's very very important to keep things balanced out and um, I said so it's a matter of researching things first before you just start throwing parts and then you often be very upset with the results because it just doesn't work out for a combination so I'm really hoping that the number 74 jet and the stock number 50 metering rod will work out on my application over here Parts have been cleaned up, tidied up, I mean, to the best that I can with the things that I have at my um, disposal over here. And um, it is a correct numbers matching carburetor for this car. Let's see what's the number. It's um, 7012250. And that is the correct number for this year of uh, car. From what I've been able to decipher, the car has got a carburetor from a 73 Oldsmobile 350 on it right now, but who knows what's been done to that given all the other stuff that's been done. But I have all sorts of new parts to put in. Just to be sure there's a new float that's going to be going on. Choke coil. This is already pretty new looking, but the carburetor itself wasn't um, really too high mileage. I think, of course, in your kits you're going to get new accelerator pumps and things and um, to replace the old one that's tired. The new gaskets, a whole bunch of new little parts. There's different metering rods and things that I've been okay, that were actually included with this carburetor, but I'll be able to keep them to tune. Something that comes in very handy is the micrometer, just to make sure that the parts you get actually are what they are, because sometimes there are mistakes, and it's always good to check things up. And um, there's going to be an insulated gasket put underneath the main blocker, just to help to keep it a little bit cooler the carburetor uh, when it's running, especially when I have the accessories going on the car, it builds up really a lot of extra heat in the summer. Not that it overheats, but it just helps the cause. And um, with this, uh, we'll see what's going to happen, and uh, hopefully there'll be some nice results out of this. But carburetors aren't an exact science. You have to play with them, adjust them, and uh, you know, work with them um, in all sorts of ways. And it's a learning experience, in all honesty. But uh, I haven't done a heck of a lot of work on these things, but we'll see what'll happen. We'll see what'll transpire with that all, and um, anyway, we'll see you guys later. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Just a little collection of cars that I have from friends and folks and family who have given me this sort of thing. It's a nice little serenity room as I call it. Take care. Car adventures be fun. And we will speak to you later. Bye.